uh, I'm in red form In a red state, such a red case on a red song In a shared space with my shareholders cause we share a bond Spiritual healthcare, that's real self-care, you won't care for I got my Mets hat on to the back Y'all already know where we going with the stats it's Any artist that's talking garbage and try to curse us Y'all follow a wave and do whatever's current I follow his ways, I know my turn is coming Welcome to New York Giants Full Access Add it to the cart and we got you That's it man, go purchase Big Pass Sports Talk merch and support the family, man, and welcome to Big Pass Sports Talk. Thank you for your support. What's going on, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all platforms? Welcome to another episode of New York Giants Full Access with your boy, Big Pass Sports Talk. And we're going to be talking about the great debate. You got Tyrod Taylor. Versus Mr. Daniel Jones. We can't stand Mr. Daniel Jones. And we love Tyrod Taylor. And the Giants fan base. And the Giants community. All in the Twitter spaces. Twitter spear. Whatever you want to call it. Twitter, Twitter, whatever. But. Got the great debate. Is Tyrod Taylor. Better than Daniel Jones. Is Tyrod Taylor running this offense better than Daniel Jones? Is Tyrod Taylor better than Daniel Jones in the pocket? Is Tyrod Taylor just a better player? Now, on one side, you have the guys that like Tyrod Taylor. As you know, he did history. Create a uh, first Giants uh, black Giants quarterback to win a game for the New York Giants in this 100-year history. Congratulations to him. Tyrod Taylor played the last two games against the Buffalo Bills, nearly won that game, one yard away from winning that game, then went on to play the Washington Commanders last week, this past Sunday, and we beat the Commanders 14-7. to Now, a lot of fans are saying, hey, look, we look a whole lot better when Tyrod Taylor is in the game. We almost won two games in a row. Probably should have won two games in a row with Tyrod Taylor. After Daniel Jones gets his neck injury from Van Grinkle of the Miami Dolphins, injures his neck again, I think it's a little bit more serious than they're letting on. But they're saying Daniel Jones may play against the New York Jets. We will be there in the parking lot. The Big Blue Crew, check us out, uh, doing the block party in New Jersey this coming weekend. And the great debate is so Daniel Jones should just be benched healthy no matter what. Should just be benched. We wasted $140, $60 million, $40 million this year. How many dollars you want to count in his pocket? We wasted that money this year. Tyrod Taylor's the better quarterback, and he should have been playing from the very beginning. That's what the naysayers will say of Daniel Jones. But let's talk about Tyrod Taylor and what he has done so far as being the quarterback of the New York Giants. Now, this is not a Tyrod Taylor bashing session. This is not a DJ bashing session. This is just me talking about both quarterbacks. I like what Tyrod Taylor has done so far with the New York Giants this year as far as playing the quarterback position. He does look fluid in the pocket. He does look aware. And he does look like he's a very good option for this team moving forward at the quarterback position. Can't take that away from him. He's pushing the ball down the field. He got Darren Waller his first touchdown and almost his first 100-yard game as a New York Giant. And I'm actually pretty doggone proud of him coming into the situation that he came into. And he did well. He did what he was supposed to do. He's, he's doing his job to the best of his ability. And it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. He's throwing a ball down the field. Jalen Hyatt had his best game as a giant. 
with Tyrod Taylor in the game. Cannot take that away from him. Wanda Robinson looks a little bit more fluid. Can't take that away from him. And the offensive line looked a little bit better when Tyrod Taylor was playing in both the Bills and the Washington game. Now, is all this because of just Tyrod Taylor being in the game? I hate to say it, Ty Tyrod Taylor. Allegiant people. They have their allegiance to Tyrod Taylor. It's not all because of Tyrod Taylor, bro. The offensive line got better when Phillips was at right tackle and Pew was at left tackle, even though Pew didn't have the greatest game against Chase Young. The offensive line looked like an NFL offensive line this past week. It did. It wasn't great. I'm not here to say, oh, they were just playing out, out of their minds. No, they weren't. But compared to what they were playing with when Daniel Jones was in the game, like against the Cowboys and the Seahawks, they were pretty much playing out of their mind. Yeah, so we had four of our offensive linemen with a positive PFF grade. When does that happen? When's the last time that's happened? And with them playing like that, it allowed Tyrod Taylor to maybe hold a safety in the middle of the field to get the ball to Janet Hyatt. It allowed Tyrod Taylor to find people in the middle of the field. And it allowed Tyrod Taylor just to push the ball deep and get the ball to Waller in the seam. It allowed him to do that. No matter if you want to bash Daniel Jones and say he has no pocket presence and all that crap, this offensive line allowed him to do that, bro. And I'm actually proud of my team for actually looking like a half-decent NFL offensive line against the Commanders. But that wasn't just because Tyrod Taylor was playing. Because if that offensive line was playing like the way they were playing with Daniel Jones, I think Tyrod Taylor gets hurt from taking too many hits. Now, what Tyrod Taylor is doing, he's looking like He's the quarterback that wants to push the ball down the field where, he, where Daniel Jones does look hesitant. That's just a fact. Tyrod Taylor is not scared to throw that ball down the field, which makes the offense a little better automatically because of the speed that we have with Hyatt Slayton. He's getting the ball out there to him. Not taking that again away from him. He's doing it. And if Brian Dable feels like you, you keep Tyrod Taylor in there because Daniel Jones will never do that, then you do it. I have no problem with that. If that's the case and Tyrod Taylor's the best option, then you have no choice but to do it if you want to win games. Pushing a ball down the field with an offense built like this is a must because we base our offense off the speed factor. Speed at the tight end position, speed at the receiver position, speed at the running back position, speed at the quarterback position. This team is based off a speed-based team. So having an offense where we're not throwing the ball down the field really doesn't make any sense. And if Daniel Jones cannot throw the ball down the field, which I know he can, we all know he can. We've all seen it. I don't care if you don't like the man or not. You've seen him push the ball down the field. He's one of the best deep ball throwers the first three years of his career. Bad as it was, he was still a good deep ball thrower. And there's highlights to prove it. So you can't say, oh, Daniel Jones doesn't know how to throw the ball down the field or he can't throw it down the field. No, you're lying. You saw it this year. So, but if Daniel Jones is punch drunk or he's shocked and he's just PTSD from getting hit and he doesn't want to throw the ball down the field, then you bench him. Especially if the line is playing like they did against the Washington Commanders. If he gets in there against the Jets and the offensive line is blocking and he's giving him time and he's still not throwing it down the field, now you got some real serious questions to have about Daniel Jones. And that's just the honest truth. But Tyrod Taylor, 
Y'all got to pump the brakes on that, bro. Reason why. In Tyrod Taylor's two starts, we have scored 23 points. Nine against the Bills, 14 against the Washington Commanders. That's an average of 11 and a half points a game. That doesn't clarify you projecting him to be 10 times better than Daniel Jones, way better than Daniel Jones. The offense looks so much better with Tyrod Taylor scoring 11 points, 11 points a game. That's what we doing? That's what we doing as a fan base. Going Google Gaga eyed over Tyrod Taylor's 11 and a half points a game. His two starts. And here's what a part where the DJ haters come. Oh, you're bashing Tyrod Taylor. You can't give him any credit. I've gave this whole video. If you watch the video, I've gave Tyrod Taylor credit. I said he played pretty good. But to sit here and trash Daniel Jones and say that Tyrod Taylor is way better than him because the offense looks way better. Scoring 11 and a half points a game. You do know that we had 14 points with 8 minutes and 52 seconds left in the second quarter when we didn't score a point. Didn't score a point after that. So over two and a half quarters, we did not score a point with Tyrod Taylor on the field. As good as he looked throwing the ball down the field, as good as he looked move, moving in the pocket, scrambling in the pocket, as good as he looked throwing the ball to Darren Waller, we didn't score a point. In over two and a half quarters. Not a point. You have to take that into consideration in your evaluation of the quarterbacks. You have to take into consideration the defense when you're evaluating Tyrod Taylor in these two games. Do you know the defense only allowed 21 points in two games? So the defense was only, is only giving up 10 and a half points the past two games. And we've only won one of them. At the Bills game, he made a call to give the ball to Saquon Barkley on a run play when we had no timeouts. That was, that was Tyrod Taylor's call. If Daniel Jones do, does that, do you still praise Daniel Jones? Or do you call him a bumbling idiot? I say the latter. You call him an idiot. You call him an idiot regardless. He hasn't even played the past two weeks and so you call him an idiot. Daniel Jones had this team scoring 21 to 22 points a game last year, and you said he sucked. In Tyrod Taylor's games, we're averaging half of that. And all I see is all 22 posts of all his good plays. How great Tyrod Taylor looks running this offense compared to Daniel Jones. But Daniel Jones could go out all last season, take us to the playoffs, get a playoff win, make playoff history. And has this team averaging, I believe, 22.3 points a game last year with the offense last year. And you said he sucked. But a guy that that's just not Daniel Jones comes in and averages half of that in two games. Half the point total, averagely. Let's go Tyrod. See, what you're doing is you're putting these two quarterbacks against each other, which is awful. See, I want the quarterback to play that gives us, gives us the best chance to win. And in my opinion, it's still DJ. But I won't be mad 
if they play Tyrod Taylor the rest of the season because they feel that he's the best QB. I'm going to cheer whatever QB is in there, bro. I have both my quarterbacks back. I have Tyrod Taylor's back because he went in there and he's giving it his all. And we do look a little better as a team, especially the defense. And I got DJ's back because I know what he's capable of if he has blocking and a good surrounding around him. He can win us games. Hell, he can win us a playoff game. I have his back too. Because that's what a real fan does. A real fan doesn't go around creating civil wars between the fan base. Oh, screw you, Tyrod Taylor's the best. Oh, screw you, DJ is the best. No, ain't about that, man. I'm about the team. And I'll continue to say this. The most important thing we need to do is not focusing on the quarterback. It's focusing on this offensive line so we can utilize these weapons so our defense could go out there with hope to know that if they go three and out, our offense could do something. And we could go out there and try to win some games. Because, folks, without the offensive line blocking the way they're supposed to block, it doesn't matter what quarterback is in there. It could be Tyrod Taylor, it could be Daniel Jones, it could be Caleb Williams, it could be Drake May, it could be Michael Penix, it could be J.J. McCarthy, it could be Justin Herbert, it could be Joe Burrow. It's not going to work, man. It's not going to work. So this fan base really needs to get their head out of their butts and hope and root for Andrew Thomas to come back, JMS to come back, and either for Evan to get his act together, Tyree Phillips to continue to play the way that he's been playing, get a little bit better in the run, blocking. Hope Glowinski keeps balling out. Hope McKeithen stays healthy. Hope Bredesen stays healthy. I hope this offensive line because an offensive line that's to be respected. Then we can worry about who we should draft. Who's the elite quarterback we're going to bring to the New York Giants? He's just going to be great. Get DJ out of here. Let Tyrod Taylor play. Let DeVito play. I wish he was like Justin Herbert. I wish our quarterback was like Joe Burrow. I wish our quarterback was like Lamar Jackson. Get off the quarterback and get on the offensive line. Pause. That's my message in this whole stupid Tyrod Taylor versus Daniel Jones debate. It's done. Tyrod Taylor plays, DJ gets healthy, you put DJ in, if DJ doesn't ball, if DJ doesn't look competent, if DJ looks like the DJ that's been playing the, the first games and the offensive line is blocking, shit DJ out of town. And that's coming from one of his biggest fans like the guy hope he succeeds but if he gets in there and that offensive line is blocking the way they were blocking against washington which wasn't great but at least it was decent enough to where the quarterback can function that's all i ever wanted so if this offensive line is giving functional play and we're not getting good to very good play from Daniel Jones, that's when you put a foot to his ass and say, get out of town and bring in whatever quarterback you want to bring in who you feel will get the job done. 
That's how you build teams. Trenches, trenches, trenches. First and foremost, first, second, third. Give my team trenches, and my quarterback better give me good to very good play. If not, I know you're the problem. It's as simple as that. But hey, if you don't want to listen to Big Passports talk, that's cool. Whatever. But the Civil War garbage is done. It's dumb and it needs to be done. Tyrod Taylor's the starter until DJ is healthy. That's it. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that big blue join button if you want to talk and talk with Big Pat Sports Talk. And to the next episode, go copy some merch as well at the Big Pat Sports Shop. I know y'all see it. I know you see how cool the merch is. You better get you a hat or a shirt. You better get you something, man. <laughs> but until the next episode, you know what it is, man. Peace.